What is up world, Bakerman Brad here, and today we're going to be taking a look at snow. Now, I don't mean real snow, I mean snow as in the skiing simulation game that has kind of blown my mind. And I will be showing you why that exactly is here in just a second, but first, I need to stick this awesome spinning move. Now I'm going to take a second to explain why I said ski simulation-esque kind of a thing. Because, bam, you can change the view to first person and there's actually a VR setting to where you can ski in virtual reality. However, if you don't have virtual reality, this kind of makes you feel a little bit queasy, so it's best to stick to the third person option, otherwise you might go cross-eyed. I don't really know. That's how I was feeling. Now with that, I can tell you that the controls on this are pretty straightforward, but still take a good while to get used to in terms of understanding the finesse involved in actually controlling your skiing. Your mouse controls the camera, which you can move around freely however and whenever you want, but the thing is, you actually need to use the arrow keys to do certain grabs and tricks along with your left hand doing all of the WASD fine motor controls whereas your W is your forward kind of acceleration, S is your brakes, A and D are your turns and you there's a lot more to it in terms of when you get into the air. After you jump which involves space and you can actually load your jump by holding space before jumping and then pre-turning and then hitting shift to turn faster. I mean, there's a whole bunch of fine tuning little things that you need to do that whenever you get started, take the tutorial that they have you do seriously. Otherwise, you're gonna be having a really hard time figuring out why you can't nail that 720 and you're having a hard time just getting off the ground. But that's something that you really, really need to do. And then after you get that done, just ski around. I really mean just get out there on the mountain and pick as whatever spot you want to and start skiing. Jump up and down, spin around, fly around, try to ski as fast as you possibly can. Just really get out there and explore the mountains, the uh, whatever tracks that you're wanting to do, whatever slopes you're going to go for, whatever tricks you're wanting to do. Because there's a lot of fine tuning little pieces involved in this, like I was saying, that really make this a crazy simulator in terms of skiing. As you get going, the sounds and the way it feels just makes you really feel like you're right there with it until you hit a wall. Now the good thing is, unlike real world skiing and snowboarding, if you do hit a wall, they magically have a rewind feature that lets you do it again. But the good thing is you can rewind as many times as you want. Granted, you do lose points for having to rewind. Now the basis of this game is to do tricks, do stunts, create lands and grinding on rails, hitting slopes, and getting as many points as you possibly can to level up your skier. And after you level up your skier, you can then take those experience points to the shop. That gets translated into level and eventually by doing certain challenges you get coins and credits that you can then go into the store and upgrade your character with a ton of customizable options. Granted, it's pretty safe, straightforward in terms of what you can actually um, customize. It's pretty much going to be you have certain little bundles that you can get a whole bunch of stuff all at once for a discount in terms of instead of having to buy each individual piece at whatever price it's going to be you get these bundles and then you can go into the character items and choose individually which ones you want to do you have a whole bunch of options for the hat you have options like this helmet you got birthday hats you've got the night helmets all these things that you can go through there and pick for the beanie you have eyes, which include goggles, your sunglasses, a whole bunch of things. So I'm going to go through here real quick and try to figure out what pair of shades I feel I need. Uh, I don't want to get too carried away, well, because that's also the end of the line there. Nah, nah, it's not really my color. But really, the, obviously, there's not anything that these are going to do in terms of building stats or abilities. It is strictly cosmetic. 
So these shades are totally going to go because in the real world, these would not protect me from anything if I was actually on the slopes, but I don't really care. I like it. So I'm going to go with it. After you purchase it, you get to equip it and all that good jazz. And there was one cool little thing. i got to try to remember which one it was. Um, There's a couple of really cool little masks that you got, but down towards the bottom, I believe it was in this... Yes, there is the horse head. And yep, it's a little close for right here, but when you're out there on the slope, you have a horse head, which, I mean, hey, who doesn't want to be skiing around with a horse head? Now, there's a whole bunch of other things whenever you get to your inventory that is in your shop and you can change your skis, pants, shirts, clothes. You can buy different events that you can go and do certain skis, uh, in terms of tricks, you have different mountains that you can open up, in different areas that you once you've leveled up, you'll get access to on the mountain. So there's a whole bunch of things for this to be an early access that is already good and ready to go. And I am incredibly impressed by the level of detail and how just gorgeous it looks. Um, I have not seen any problems about this game in terms of getting out there and doing simulators because it's got several different options of game modes, like this little trial where you're trying to get to, through all the checkpoints to a certain point. And where I was saying there's some really intense speeds that you actually just kind of feel involved in it, which is kind of hard for me to get excited about any type of a simulator at all, let alone a skiing one, which I, at first, I honestly thought I was gonna be bored out of my mind. But the actual skiing, along with the options that you have and Granted, I did find out that I'm horrible at the rails, so that's all I'm going to show you about that for now uh, until later on. But the tricks that you can do, all of the rewind abilities to really get better at things, it's just that everything about it has been beyond my expectations for this game. Um, it's just really, really well done so far and just, like I said, in early access. Now, obviously, as a simulator and the whole, if you hit something, you can rewind and you know, it's not real life. There are some things that make you kind of chuckle whenever you run into a wall and for one reason you fall off and have to restart. But then the other reason, if you have a really bad landing, and you survive. That's really the only issue that I see as a interesting little development there. Now, as for the main mountain, you have a crap ton of locations that you can choose as your drop-off point and several that are actually discoverable and unlockable like I said at the beginning based on whether if you explore the mountain and you ski around and you find it or if you level up you'll get the helicopter drops but you will have plenty of things to do for several hours to fully complete this thing and if you don't like the time that you're actually skiing just change it with plus. I mean, it could be three in the morning like I might have been doing and you just need to see it better. Bam, there you go, go for it. Overall, the simplicity of this game compared to how nice it looks and how good it feels has been incredibly surprising. And I don't I don't care if you guys are upset with me about being so uh, excited about this game. I, I just can't help it, I'm sorry. But one of the cool things, if you're trying to go out and explore finding those certain areas, just bust out your drone that they already have for you to go and find out other areas of the map. I mean, it really just kind of gives you a simple, awesome ski simulator that I, I have not found any problems with. It just has an incredibly smooth look. It is really nice, really easy to play. The music is just kind of relaxing. This is the perfect game to just kind of kill a lot of time not having to focus on things and really getting to enjoy what you're doing. So with that said, I'm going to let you guys get out there and explore. If you have any other questions, take a look at the game profile page on MMOHuts.com um, and honestly, just go out there, snow the game, and boom, download it. It's free to play, good to go right now, it's, although it's an early access. But gamers, I'm going to tell you to get out there and go skiing. Ah, but one more thing. I'm also going to leave you with a nice little gameplay montage at the end of this, so feel free to watch the rest of this and get a look at just how nice this game really looks. And if you don't have a sense of humor, please stop watching now.
so majesty. Much stiff. Wow, grind. Must ski over all the snow. I don't really know how I dodged that, or how that counts as a landing. You know that feeling you get in your stomach when you see a very long drop? Oh, that's happening right now. Am I really alive? Hey you guys, this is for Jesus. Perfect landing, I don't care what you say. Would you look at that? It's like I teleported you, darling. Can you say all the spins? That's right. All the spins. I don't really understand how I did this myself, with all the controls involved. I guess you could say I was really lucky with all of this. Well gamers, with all of that said, I'm glad you had a sense of humor if you continued watching all of this. But don't worry, this is the last little clip. I swear some of these flips look like we put Jason on a pair of skis. My grand finale, the dopest trick I ever pulled off. Completely dope. Press anything to begin. <laughs>